Welcome back to Smart Family. I'm Connie Cola, and it's time to hit the grill with a few sizzling steaks this weekend. of Connie in the Kitchen, it's all about the steak and the sauce we're going to make for your steak that takes your steak from ordinary to fantastic. I'm from Montana and I'm going to give you a tip about how to make a beautiful steak. First of all, if you like a charred steak on the outside, you know when it gets nice and brown and crispy, but you also like a medium rare steak, that's hard to do on a grill to get both. So the tip here is freeze your steak. Can you hear that? Frozen solid. And then put it on a really hot grill and don't keep it on for very long. So we're going to do that real quick and we'll have a beautifully charred steak and then we're going to whip up a sauce to go with it. So come on out to the bar. Seasoning salt. This is like steak salt. So now it's time for the sauce and this is super easy. So we're going to just put a nice little chunk of butter in here. Throw our mushrooms in. And then we'll let that kind of saute for a few minutes and cook down. Okay, so these have sweated down to where they're nice and condensed in flavor. Our sun-dried tomato now. We don't really necessarily need a bunch of oil with it, we just needed the tomatoes. And then we're going to open a can of beef broth. And then we're just going to add a little bit of red wine to that, and I would say this is probably a half a cup, and in that goes. And then if you wanted to, if you have some fresh herbs and you wanted to chop up uh, a little bit of fresh herb, you can put that in there as well. And we're just going to let that reduce now for a little while. Good. To test your steak, I like my steak medium rare, so you want to kind of push into the steak and if it's about as spongy or as uh, cushy as that part of your thumb is right in there, then it means it's medium rare. And really surprisingly, even though the steak was frozen, you're going to cook it for about the same amount of time as long as this is a really hot barbecue. Okay, good. is ready to go. So now, yeah, see how the sauce is really kind of soaked into this? And then we're going to just crumble a little bit of blue cheese across the top. All right, that's how you make a Montana steak. You freeze it and then flash barbecue it. And then we've added some sun-dried tomatoes, some portobello mushrooms, a little bit of blue cheese in a beef wine broth, and it makes your steak delicious. Of course, we've added a little bit of grilled asparagus here as well. And there you go. See the inside of that? It's perfect. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is all mine. But you can make it at home. And let me know what you think at abc15.com forward slash smart family. Oh, uh, I did try to finish that off, but I couldn't do it. So thankfully, Ryan, my photographer, was there to help. Hey, you can go to abc15.com, click on the lifestyle tab, and then tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for another edition of Connie in the Kitchen. And all the Connie in the Kitchen recipes are right there on the website. Well, a lot of you are sharing your best barbecue and grilling advice. Mike Shaljian says, coals over propane, more flavor. And uh, Stephanie Christina Valviera says, for chicken, I boil it almost until it's cooked, and then I throw them on the grill. Learned from previous bad experience, and I don't get dried, dr dried chicken, and it works really well. All right, well, that's the show for today, everybody. We're finished, but we're back.